Hi guys, and welcome to our Christmas house tour. So this is what it looks like when you first walk into our house. And I apologize for getting this video up so late. I had planned on getting this one up a lot sooner. I've just been very busy with Christmas coming up. I'm sure you guys can relate. I'll get started right here at our entryway. So this is what it looks like when you walk into our house. This deer head is one of my favorite Christmas decorations. I bought this guy last year at Target and I love the detailing of the wood. I love how it has the gold flecks in it. I basically just love everything about him. Moving down to my coat rack, I have this little sign here, which I found in the dollar spot at Target. And all I did for this one is attach a little piece of twine to the back so I could hang it up on the coat rack. And just in case you guys are wondering, the coat rack is either from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. In front of the door, I have this little snowman rug as well as Madison standing here. She always gets so excited whenever I walk by the door. She thinks that she is going to go outside and play. She loves going out and playing in the snow, so every chance she gets, she wants to go outside. So that is a reason I like to keep this rug here. I bought this a few years ago from Target and she's just standing there giving me the stare down. I like to keep that rug there to catch the snow from when the dogs come in, but as you can see, it doesn't always work. Hanging on the wall to the right of the door, I have this gorgeous picture which I picked up earlier this year from Kirkland's. The second I saw this picture, I knew I had to have it. I love all of the details in this picture. I don't know what it is, but just something about an old-fashioned Christmas feels so magical to me. Sitting on top of the chest of drawers, I have this basket here, which I bought a while ago from Dollar General for super cheap, and I just have it filled up with some Christmas ornaments. I also have this cloche here, which I made with the top from my cake stand, as well as some of these wood slabs. And inside of it, I have a little Madison, some fake snow, and some little bottle brush trees from Walmart. This tree here is from Home Goods. I actually bought three of these because I like them so much. I just love the little pine cones and I love how the branches look all sparkly and pretty. And then I just stuck it inside of this metal pot here, which I found from Menards. Behind my couch, I have this console table here, which I get so many questions about. I bought this one quite a few years ago from Target, but I do believe they still sell this one. So this is what it looks like. Sitting on top of the table, first of all, I have this adorable guy here. I found him at Hobby Lobby and I just thought he was the cutest thing ever and he was super inexpensive. He was on sale for I think only $1.50 or $2. Next to him, I have this Merry Christmas sign which I found at TJ Maxx and I just love the way this has a little bit of a rustic look to it. And then I also have this fresh balsam candle burning. I found this one at Aldi. I think this was only three or four dollars and this candle smells so amazing. And then I also have another one of these fake trees here, which is from Home Goods. So this is tree number two. I told you guys I bought three of these. And again, I just stuck this in a little metal pot. I'm not sure where this one is from, maybe Target from the dollar spot a few years ago and I don't know why I always like putting my fake trees in these little metal pots or some type of a pot I don't know maybe I just feel like it gives it a little bit more of a realistic look instead of the fake stand that it comes on on the bottom of the table, I kept it somewhat simple. So first of all, I have this wooden box, which I found at Home Goods, and then inside of it, I just filled it up with some Christmas ornaments. And then next to that, I just filled up this glass container here with some of these sparkly pine cones that I had left over from decorating my Christmas tree. Here's a little overview of how this room looks. Here is my living room. I kind of like to give you guys a little bit of an overview so you can kind of see how everything is set up and how adorable are the puppies down there sleeping in their little Christmas sweaters. They love cuddling up together, especially during these colder months. You can usually always find them snuggled up together in one bed. And oh my gosh, I just cannot with these Christmas sweaters. They are so adorable. I think I bought these last year or the year before from Target. Here's an overview of my couch, which if you guys cannot tell, I love Christmas pillows. 
This plaid pillow with the faux fur around it is from Sears. This other one here, I bought a couple of these on eBay. These are actually just pillow covers. This one with the Christmas trees on it, I bought a few years ago from Target. And then the snowflake one is from Target as well. This pillow I found at Home Goods. This is one of my favorite Christmas pillows because it has the little red truck on it, which you guys know that I love. And then I also love that on the little reindeer, it has some real bells. So if the pillow gets moved, it jingles. This Christmas tree pillow is from TJ Maxx. And then on the other side of my couch, I have a bunch more Christmas pillows. I don't know what it is. I have a little bit of a throw pillow obsession, I think. Whatever the holiday, I always love having a bunch of throw pillows. This little plaid deer one is from a few years ago at Joann's. Again, the plaid one is from Sears. The Christmas tree one is from Target. And this little snowman one is from the at-home store. I kept things pretty simple on my coffee table. So first of all, I have this amazing candle here. This is by Better Homes and Gardens and it's in the scent Soft Cashmere Amber. And oh my goodness, you guys, this candle smells amazing. And then around the candle, I have this little garland here, which is from Michaels. And then I just have a Pottery Barn Christmas catalog inside of the basket. I didn't really have any Christmas magazines and I just thought that one looked Christmassy. So I stuck it inside of there. Lastly, I just have another one of these cloches that I made. I believe I bought this one a few years ago from Joann's. Moving along to the other side of my living room, this is what it looks like. And while I was filming this, I was watching the movie Holiday in Handcuffs. If you guys haven't ever seen this movie, you should definitely watch it because it is hilarious. This snowman is one of my favorite Christmas decorations. We bought him on clearance after Christmas at Target a few years ago. That is definitely one of my favorite times to pick up Christmas decorations is after Christmas because you can find some amazing deals. Above my snowman hanging on the wall, I have this sign here that says, I'm dreaming of a farmhouse Christmas. I love how it has the plaid on the lettering. This is from Kirkland's. Here's an overview of what the TV stand looks like. So I just have a garland on there. And then this little red barn I bought a few weeks ago from Target. This garland is from Walmart and I actually switched this one out. If you guys watched one of my other Christmas decorating videos, I found this new one and fell in love with it. This one is from Walmart and then I just added some lights to it. And I really like this one because I felt like it matched this wreath here really good. I bought this wreath last year from TJ Maxx and this is just one of my favorite Christmas wreaths. If you guys are looking for one like this, I was in TJ Maxx the other day and I did spot one. Moving along to my kitchen, here is a little overview of what it looks like. And of course the puppies had to be in the shot again. I don't know why every shot I was filming, they kept trying to walk by or be in the background. They love being on camera. Here's Molly. Starting out with my lights, all I did with these is wrap them with some of this little cheapy garland. I actually found it at Walmart and it was in a big long piece and I just cut it up into little pieces. And then I just added some of these little red bows which are from the Dollar Tree. On the back of my bar stools, I added some of these gorgeous wreaths which I found at Joann's. Again, I just love the detailing on these, especially the little pearls. I think these are so pretty. And then to give the wreaths a nice pop of color, I added some of these red bows that are from the Dollar Tree. And then if you guys are wondering how I hung these on the bar stool, I just used an ornament hook. Sitting on my island in my kitchen, I have a hot cocoa station going on here. I actually kind of have two hot cocoa stations going on in my kitchen, you'll see in a second. I'm not going to go into too much detail with this because I did want to do a whole separate video on my hot cocoa station and kind of like a DIY hot cocoa station. I'm hoping to have that video up before Christmas, but if for some reason that doesn't happen, I will still do that video because you can definitely enjoy a hot cocoa station all winter long. Here's a little overview of my kitchen so you can kind of see how everything looks. Okay. 
On the counter over here, I have my Frosted Cranberry Candle from Bath & Body Works burning. This is one of my favorite winter scents from Bath & Body Works. I have my Madison cookie jar here, which is from the Pioneer Collection at Walmart. And then to make it a little bit more festive, I just added a piece of garland and a red bow. This fresh cut Christmas tree sign is from the Dollar Spot at Target. I also wanted to make my crock festive, so I added this plaid rolling pin that my mom bought for me and I love it so much. And then I added another piece of that same garland that I wrapped around the cookie jar. I found that in the dollar spot at Target. It came in a big long roll for I think $3. And then I also added this little Christmas ornament again from the dollar spot at Target. I also added a few Christmas decorations to my stove. The first one being this festive dish towel. I think I bought this last year at Walmart and I just love the way this one looks. On top, I have this tree, which is from the dollar spot at Target. This amazing smelling peppermint candle, which I found last week at TJ Maxx. This candle smells so amazing. I love the scent of peppermint. This Christmas ornament tree I bought a few years ago from Target. By my sink, I have some of my favorite dish soap ever. This is the Mrs. Meyers Peppermint, but you guys, I am so sad because I only bought one bottle of this and now they are sold out everywhere, so I'm so sad. On the other side of my sink, I have another one of my favorite soaps. This one is the Winter Soap from Bath & Body Works. Over here to the left of my sink, I have this wooden Christmas tree along with two cookie jars. This wooden tree is from Joann's. This little Santa Claus cookie jar is my favorite. I actually got this from my mom. She had it in her garage sale and I tried to buy it from her, but my mom being my mom would not let me buy it from her. So she ended up giving it to me and I just love him so much. And then sitting next to Santa, I have my Ray Dunn cookie jar. Hanging up here on the wall, I have this wooden sign that says, have a very merry little Christmas. I bought this, I think last year or the year before from Meyer. Hanging next to the sign on the door, I have this pine cone and antler wreath. I bought this a few years ago on clearance after Christmas at Pier 1. I told you guys that's my favorite time to buy Christmas decorations and I just love this wreath. And then I showed my mom and she loved it so much she actually ended up getting one on clearance as well. Over here is my other hot cocoa station and then hanging from these towel racks, I have a couple of Christmas dish towels. I believe these are from Home Goods. Above the window is this Christmas tree sign, which is from Menards. And then above the cabinets, I have some of this pre-lit garland, which I bought on clearance a few years ago from Lowe's. And then I just added some pine cones to it. Moving on to my dining room, here is an overview of what it looks like. Since I added garland to my lights in my kitchen, I wanted to make my chandelier look a little bit festive as well. So what I did for this is I added some of this garland that I found in the dollar spot at Target. All I did is wrap this around the base of it and I just love the nice festive look it gives to the chandelier. Also in the dining room, I added some decorations back here on this hutch that sits behind my dining room table. Sitting on here is the third and final tree like the others that I showed you from Home Goods. To make this joy sign, I picked up these rustic letters from Hobby Lobby. And lastly, I have this lantern sitting here, which is just filled up with a bunch of Christmas ornaments. And if you guys are wondering, I bought this lantern a few months ago from Target on clearance for super cheap. And I also added a piece of this garland, the same one from the chandelier from Target. On my dining room table, I kept it very simple. All I did was add a piece of this garland that I found from Joann's. Moving on to our Christmas tree, this is what it looks like. This Christmas tree is from Hobby Lobby and I believe this one is either a nine foot or a nine and a half foot tree. Thank you. 
So this is what our Christmas tree looks like. I really love the way we decorated the tree this year. I think it looks so perfect and I am in love with this little bird ornament. I picked this guy up from Big Lots. He actually came in a set of three. I just thought these were the cutest little ornaments ever. One thing we did do differently with our tree this year is we decided to put it in one of these galvanized pots. I saw this idea on Pinterest and I just love the way this came out. And we found this galvanized one, I believe, at the tractor and farm supply store. Sitting over here next to my tree is my little pine cone dog. If you guys watch my home good shopping vlog, then you probably saw him. I just think he is the cutest thing ever. And he also reminds me of the little bird ornaments with the pine cone on him. And to be honest, I was a little bit nervous to have him sitting on the floor because Madison is only one year old and with him being made out of this pine cone type material, I thought she might want to chew on him. But I'm actually very impressed because she hasn't tried to get near this thing one time. She is such a good puppy. All right guys, that is going to be it for this video. Those are all of our Christmas decorations. I did realize I forgot to show you our Christmas decorations in our bedroom as well as our outdoor Christmas decorations. So I might do a separate video and show you guys those as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I also hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and I will talk to you in my next video.